Well, hello, you are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. Today's day 166. It is a wet, rainy mess. I uh, just had a little lull in the heaviness of the rain, so I uh, took the opportunity to get packed up and moving. Um, I have a Nero planned today. I am first going to get to the Kennebec River. Uh, it's a three point something miles and then I'm going to do a road walk to Caratunk where I'm hoping to stay and get out of the rain. So if you don't know about the Kennebec River crossing, it is a giant river that is dangerous to ford so they don't recommend you ford it. The official route is to actually take a ferry across so it's a boat, uh, basically a, a man or a woman rows you across the river. That is the only way, that is the official way to get across the river and it runs from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. currently in the summer season. So I didn't rush to get out this morning because I just have those three miles to do and I just needed to get there after nine, so uh, I'm getting a latish start. It's just before nine right now, but I have plenty of time to get there for the ferry. <sighs> Saw about eight or nine people head out this morning from the breakfast place <laughs> while I had my oatmeal under my tarp. But that's okay, because I got a delicious dinner last night, and it was awesome. So I had planned for today to be a shorter day, because I knew weather was going to be gross, and I knew that I wanted to stop at Caratunk, because a southbounder had really hyped it up to me <laughs> when he was talking about um, this place called Northern Outdoors and they have uh, rooms, they have uh, places you can camp, and showers, and hot tubs, and there is a brewery on the premises, so you can drink beer, go in the hot tubs, etc, etc, and I thought that sounded really awesome and a great way to treat myself after doing two back-to-back 16-mile -back days. I think that I've earned <laughs> that uh, ability to treat myself. Also have some video stuff to get done. You probably can't tell who this is, but Sassafras has caught up to me on trail. So I've been getting... Oh no! We've been getting caught up and uh, I guess we're probably gonna cross the Kennebec together. First, you have to cross this stream. Woohoo! This is a sketchy, slippery bridge. Some people waiting and some people going across right now. And here Sassafras is signing her life away. <laughs> they can have it. <laughs> huh? No, no, you can do it for real. I'm now. I'm now I'm now I'm now looking at you. Are there more cold? I recommend you sit up front and paddle. It's a way to warm up real quick. So what you're going to do is take your paddle and you're going 
<laughs> thanks and then you're done <laughs> thanks for the demonstration i i had no idea yeah so you get in the boat and then you <laughs> just like that <Yeah>. okay <laughs> i'm a professional Just, I know now I know all the guys who do it. I know the guy who has the contract. And mm -hmm. Very similar. One of the guys who did a day off. Got it. So yeah, I'll do it. So now I'm just a filling guy. Oh, so you're filling in? Yep. Yep. This is one of my three days this month. Nice. <laughs> yes. That's the only time I get to go fill. So. Oh, what a beautiful day for it. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, huh? I've never been before. I came up here. Ever been whitewater rafting? Never. Not, not before I became a guy. <laughs> That's cool. We had 10 days of training. We did 66, 65 runs down there. Mm -hmm. But versus, I always like having people know experience versus like someone who's a canoe. Mm -hmm. They have all these. This boat's going to react a lot more different than a big, heavy, thousand pound raft. Mm -hmm. So they have all these pretty little things to throw. I um, was able to get a cabin tent at Northern Outdoors. Sterling Inn very kindly gave me a ride here, which was awesome. Okay. <laughs> Pretty uh, basic accommodation, but it has a light, which is nice. Um, so it's like a bring your own bedding type situation. I figure I'll just like sleep on top of my hammock with my quilt. Um, and there's hooks. That's basically it. <laughs> but I'm undercover and hopefully I can kind of air stuff out tonight. So because I'm staying here, I am allowed to use the showers. I'm allowed to use uh, the Wi-Fi, the hot tubs, everything. I'm probably gonna um, get settled and uh, get a shower and then head back up, get something to eat, and uh, Sassafras said she would meet me later for some beers, so that should be good. Um, I might try and check out the hot tub too while I'm up there. So I'm just glad to be out of the rain, and uh, I think this will do for tonight. Well, I'm all showered, and so I'm gonna go back over to the lodge, and I'm gonna get some food, and maybe go in the hot tub. <laughs> I'm back in my cabin tent and um, so tonight uh, I, I basically just hung out in the main lodge for all the good part of the day. Uh, I got lunch there, went in the hot tub, um, worked on some videos. I was able to reserve my next hostel stay. I'm staying at Shaw's in a couple days. Met back up with Sassafras and uh, there's two other guys I hadn't met before. But we got dinner together. Uh, after they left, I went back in the hot tub and did some more video editing. Uh, it took a while for my videos to upload because the Wi-Fi wasn't very fast. So I was there till like, basically they kicked me out like at 10.30, they were closing up. Um, and it was pouring rain when I got out. So I had to wait there for several minutes for the rain to clear up. It kind of just slowed to a drizzle, so I just kind of went for it. 
Uh, the cabins, I don't know if I said this, but the cabins are across the street and like kind of down a path. So they're not just like right there. So it was kind of a bit of a walk. So I did still end up getting damp, but it wasn't as bad as it would have been because it was really coming down pretty hard. Um, a lot of my stuff is still pretty damp, but it's just gonna have to be okay. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful, so I'm, I know everything's gonna dry out tomorrow, so I'm not too worried about it. It just kind of like puts a damper on your mood when it's like, uh, everything's wet. Um, so just getting settled in for the night. It's very late. It's like 11.19 and I'm like just finally getting all my stuff done. Thank you for watching and happy trails.